Good morning, afternoon, and evening. It's Drew People from People's Collectibles. And I finally got my hands on one of these Fallout Manor decks. Uh, this one was on sale for about 40 bucks the other day. And uh, it had energy, which is a thing in Modern Horizons 3. So I was like, oh, it links up. And I finally watched uh, the Fallout show after uh, deciding to get hooked on New Vegas again before watching the show. But there's a, you know, there's a little thing back here, but uh, as long as the sample pack is still in there, that's what I'm hoping for. So uh, yeah, we're going to see uh, anything decent in that little sample pack and then just uh, go through the deck a little bit real quick. I haven't really seen the, the cards in there. So uh, yeah, just check them out and see what's up. Is there a sample pack or was I, uh, did I get screwed in there? Oh wait, no, it's in here. That is still a thing that is done. Yeah, because I mean, these, you know, the collector boosters for Fallout just sold out so quickly. So the fact you're getting a whole deck plus like the chance to, you know, maybe, maybe hit it big here. We'll see. We are about to see, you know, get in like a, you know, like a wasteland or something. One of the pit boys. All right, what do we got? We got Electro Siphon and cliff top retreat all right i mean that's not one of the best colors necessarily for dual lands but uh that is still pretty cool counter dark spell you get an amount of energy equal to its mana value wow okay well if that is not already uh in that deck right there then uh it's it's about to be yes sir we'll see <laughs> you know, i'm imagining it's a is it a commander card or is it a card from the actual set? Uh, yeah, based on the 440. Nah, I don't actually know. Wait, what do I mean from the actual set? There was no actual set. They're all commander cards. Derp, 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 derp. All right. So it's just an extended art version. It's got to be from the, the energy deck. Why wouldn't it be? So we got Madison Lee, which I'll probably keep her as a commander. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Liberty Prime Recharge. Vigilance, Trample, and Haste. Whenever you attack your block, sacrifice unless you pay two energy. And then two, tap them, sacrifice an artifact, you get two energy and draw a card. All right. I mean, I'm not sure if I would make him the commander. We got Paladin Boy. We got an island. Kind of weird. This island randomly there. We got Nerd Rage. All right, uh, blue uh, aura. It's not too, too common. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, draw two cards. Enchanted creature has, you have no maximum hand size. And whenever this creature attacks, you have 10 or more cards in hand. It gets plus 10, plus 10 until end of turn. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a pretty cool little enchantment right there. I like that. Robo Brain, Battle Cat Blast, Elder Owen Lyons, Leons, Behemoth of Vault Zero. All right, I'm going to stop reading every single card. All right, Endurance Bobblehead. Any Bobblehead. Happy about that. Nuke Cole Vetting Machine. This is the one that everyone's uh, been talking about. I might put Academy uh, Manufacturer in this deck just because of uh, that card right there. And Madison Lee, is that whenever I cast an artifact she triggers? Yeah, whenever you cast an artifact spell, you get an energy. So, yeah, there's quite a few artifacts that have it would go in here that and definitely one of them would be a uh, academy manufacturer brush contraband all right it's basically just return to a better return to us right is this a new card or is this a, a reprint no 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 wait i know I think, i'm pretty sure I know that card. all right dispatch i know that card for sure swords to plowshares so that's cool artwork for that card Lightning Greaves, it's always a nice card. Mindstone, I mean, one of those that I feel like it's it's lost favor over the years, you know? There's just so many better mana rocks and everything. Now. Didn't even notice this was an ever flowing chalice. But that's pretty cool. We got the Soul Ring, of course. A talisman of Conviction, a Creativity, of Progress. All right, so all three of the um, Pain uh, Talismans for the colors. Thought Vessel, that's always a good one. Not always, but you know, 
You know what I'm saying? In this deck, that seems to really like uh, drawing cards. Over and Comrade, that's one I remember from spoilers that I really wanted. So that is cool that it was in this pre-con right here. Nick Valentine, one of the only characters I remember from playing uh, Fallout 4. And there's some. No, I, I was thinking I'm making like a equipment deck, but it's not really around energies at all, so that card is probably actually not working there. RK again. Yeah, I just played a what is it, New Vegas. I wanted him to be my companion, but I had like three guys following me. You know, Mr. Gannon over here was going to try to fuck that up for me. All right, there's the Electro Siphon that I got the extended art version of. Um, you know, I think I would put it in, in this deck right here. have like one extended art card that would look a little weird. Got Red Death, Rex. Yeah, loved, loved good old Rex there. The, the King was, was kind of creepy, but, you know, Rex was, he was a good boy. Sentinel, Sean. T45 battle armor. Plus three, plus three doesn't have to read. Okay. All right. All right, here we go with the, the lands. Okay, well, not quite yet. But uh, I, I have found, you know, in most recent uh, commander products, the lands uh, kind of lack a lot to be desired. Mystic Forge, decent uh, reprint right there. I'm guessing that's what most of these in the back are. These are all, where all the reprints are for this. Uh, well, I guess we, we already saw like silver and shit, so I, I don't actually know what I'm talking about. Never mind. Panharmonicon, again, that and Mystic Forge, back to back, pretty nice. Psalm Simulacrum. You know, I remember when this was like one of those you won the like in almost like every kind of uh, commander deck. And again, that's one that I just I feel like it's kind of fallen out of favor over the years, but still. Decent, decent. Steel Overseer, no, eh. still all right. Cliff Top Retreat, all right. So literally two cards that were in this uh, pre-con, we got extended our versions of instead of getting something that was not already in here. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. All right, Exotic Orchard, Glacial Fortress, Irrigated Farmland. That the uh, yeah the uh, Amonkhet uh, land cycle. Which, I mean, they're halfway... I like that they have the, the two basic land types um, there. But the fact that there's no way they can ever enter untapped. It's kind of weak sauce. Spire of Industry. Like OG Mirrodin? I don't remember that card. And Temples, those are ones like... I already know. Those are coming out. For sure. Treasure Vault's fine. Wayfarer's Bobble. Eh, yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, because every time I cast an artifact, yes, yeah, so I want more cheap. I want cheaper artifacts up here. Ash Barons. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not in love with that one really. Buried Ruins, fine. Yeah, Command Power. All we want. That's when I feel like I have a Rogue's Passage, and I don't want too many of this effect, honestly. Myriad, I hate Myriad Landscapes. Just absolute trash. All right. I mean, one tapped. Pride Colored Land is, uh, is totally fine. Path of Ancestry is fine. Um, let's see the Artifact Lands. So she's whenever I cast an Artifact, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know how much Artifact Synergy there is here, but I feel like a, a tap land that might be synergistic with some stuff is, it's honestly probably not worth it. And again, like the Terramorphic Expanse, like I feel like one Rogue's Passage is fine for that kind of thing. And then I would rather just have um, more land in here. So, yeah, I uh, I will probably make this deck um, at some point. And the finished thing uh, then is uh, going to be the point that I'll post this video. So when this is up, I'll have a link to my mox field of uh, whatever I end up uh, making this uh, deck into to go play. So, yeah, thanks for joining me, looking through this deck real quick. Uh, yeah, and if you haven't seen the Fallout show, it's uh, it's pretty dope. And, uh, you know, growing up, I was like three more than New Vegas. And honestly, uh, I, think, uh, I think I might be more into the New Vegas now. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm feeling it. All right, I'll catch you all next time. Drew Peoples, Peoples Collectibles. See you.